Hey guys, Skinboy3800 once again, coming from you live from the worst possible lighting conditions of all time. Today, I got some processors for this um, Dell Precision 690. These are supposedly um, dual quad core um, 2.66 GHz Xeon CPUs. And I'm just going to be adding them in. Right now I'm hoping this whole computer setup doesn't fall. Because it's just lobs up onto another computer. Oh my god. These things are getting harder and harder to cut off every day. Alright, that socket is open. CPU goes in like so. I'm gonna throw some icy diamond. Um, seven thermal compound on here. Less is more with these kind of CPUs, so you don't really need that much. Just get the last dab off of that. There we go. And now, I'm going to put on this first heat sink. I have a nice long screwdriver here. I'm going to be screwing it in. Corner by corner, little by little. And I need to move the camera back a sec. Now last screw for the seat sink. There we go. I have another heat sink right here. And another CPU to go in. I know it's very hard for you to see the um, socket at this point, but here's the other CPU. I'm going to see if I can move this over just a little bit so you can see it better. Just getting the cover off. Toss that aside. This has to say up. This goes in the exact same way. I 
that's in. Give this the same style coating of Icy Diamond 7, and we'll be good to go. And now the other heat sink is ready to go on. Same screwdriver goes on the same way. One thing I also wanted to do with this computer was put on another back fan so that I can, well, so that it can have some better airflow. Because right now, even with this um, 180 mil um, fan in the front, um, that's only cooling the CPUs, and the memory has its own fan. I have another fan pulling the air out from the memory and the CPU, then they'll just have a much um, cleaner um, path to go through. And finally, last screw. go. I'm going to put the big old shroud back on and it should be good to go. Now I wonder if the copy of Windows I have installed on the um, test drive will be um, still valid because sometimes if you put it into an another system it'll say looks like you've stolen it. I can't let you use it. Sorry. So yeah. I guess I'll get back to you when it's fully powered up. Well, they're both reading CPU 0 and CPU 1. Both reading at 2.66 gigahertz, 8 megabytes of cache, and quad core. Let's exit and boot this. blue screen saying I need to reinstall or will it actually work? That is the question. The mouse came up, but will it stay up or will it die? Staying up. Blue screen anytime, or probably not. So this went from having a single dual core Xeon to two quad core Xeons. I hope there is going to be a performance difference. Oh yeah, and the new graphics card is installed. So let's get the screen res back up to snuff, and then we can do something. It's reading all eight CPU cores. Restart later. 
it's not a 1600p monitor, I don't know why it's showing me that option. I currently need to restart to apply some settings, probably the CPU settings. So let's let it reboot. And then I have a driver CD that I hope will fit because I have a wireless adapter, a Belkin wireless adapter. I have had a similar one of these before and it um, did really good, so I got the next version up at Best Buy. Haha, <laughs> sponsor, except not really. I might get a lot of dislikes for this, but I don't mind Best Buy. I think they're okay. I should disable those drives, they're not even needed. Starting Windows. The Belkin logo. Old Singular? Maybe? I need to plug this into the back, so give it a second. Need to use a USB extension cable, I guess. Still missing every driver in known demand. But uh, yep. Task manager. Let's get you out of balance and put you into high performance. And then go to system. First gonna need to update something. Dual Xeon um, 2.67 gigahertz processors. It probably won't read because I need the GPU setting. So I'll get back to you when I get something done. Okay, so the dual processor config is really, really good with a 7.6 out of 7.9, which is quite good. So, I'll get back to you once I install the video card drivers and just run it as full potential. Yep. So it's checking for updates. It'll take nine years, so I guess I'll see you in the next video. The next video will be this versus the Area 51 by Alienware. See you next time.